a vitamin is an organic compound required by an organism as a vital nutrient in limited amounts. An organic chemical compound is called a vitamin when it cannot be synthesized in sufficient quantities by an organism, and must be obtained from the diet. Thus, the term is conditional both on the circumstances and on the particular organism. For example, ascorbic acid is a vitamin for humans, but not for most other animals. Supplementation is important for the treatment of certain health problems but there is little evidence of benefit when used by those who are otherwise healthy. By convention, the term vitamin includes neither other essential nutrients, such as dietary minerals, essential fatty acids, or essential amino acids nor the large number of other nutrients that promote health but are otherwise required less often. Thirteen vitamins are universally recognized at present. Vitamins are classified by their biological and chemical activity, not their structure. Thus, each vitamin refers to a number of vitamin compounds that all show the biological activity associated with a particular vitamin. Such a set of chemicals is grouped under an alphabetized vitamin generic descriptor title, such as vitamin A, which includes the compounds retinol, retinol, and four known carotenoids. Vitamins by definition are convertible to the active form of the vitamin in the body, and are sometimes interconvertible to one another, as well. Vitamins have diverse biochemical functions. Some, such as vitamin D, have hormone-like functions as regulators of mineral metabolism, or regulators of cell and tissue growth and differentiation. Others function as antioxidants. The largest number of vitamins, the B-complex vitamins, function as precursors for enzyme cofactors, that help enzymes in their work as catalysts in metabolism. In this role, vitamins may be tightly bound to enzymes as part of prosthetic groups, for example, Biotin is part of enzymes involved in making fatty acids. They may also be less tightly bound to enzyme catalysts as coenzymes, detachable molecules that function to carry chemical groups or electrons between molecules. For example, folic acid may carry methyl, formyl, and methylene groups in the cell. Although these roles in assisting enzyme substrate reactions are vitamin's best known function, the other vitamin functions are equally important. Until the mid-1930s, when the first commercial yeast extract vitamin B complex and semi-synthetic vitamin C supplement tablets were sold, vitamins were obtained solely through food intake, and changes in diet usually greatly altered the types and amounts of vitamins ingested. However, vitamins have been produced as commodity chemicals and made widely available as inexpensive semi-synthetic and synthetic source multivitamin dietary and food supplements and additives since the middle of the 20th century. List of vitamins, each vitamin is typically used in multiple reactions, and, therefore, most have multiple functions. Health effects, vitamins are essential for the normal growth and development of a multicellular organism. Using the genetic blueprint inherited from its parents, a fetus begins to develop, at the moment of conception, from the nutrients it absorbs. It requires certain vitamins and minerals to be present at certain times. These nutrients facilitate the chemical reactions that produce among other things, skin, bone, and muscle. If there is serious deficiency in one or more of these nutrients, a child may develop a deficiency disease. Even minor deficiencies may cause permanent damage. For the most part, vitamins are obtained with food, but a few are obtained by other means. For example, microorganisms in the intestine A euro commonly known as gut flora A A euro produce vitamin K and biotin, while one form of vitamin D is synthesized in the skin with the help of the natural ultraviolet wavelength of sunlight. Humans can produce some vitamins from precursors they consume. Examples include vitamin A, produced from beta-carotene, and nicine, from the amino acid tryptophan. Once growth and development are completed, vitamins remain essential nutrients for the healthy maintenance of the cells, tissues, and organs that make up a multicellular organism. They also enable a multicellular life form to efficiently use chemical energy provided by food it eats, and to help process the proteins, carbohydrates, and fats required for respiration. Supplements Evidence for supplementation in those who are otherwise healthy do not show any benefit with respect to cancer or heart disease. 
vitamin A and E supplements not only provide no health benefits for generally healthy individuals, but they may increase mortality, though the two large studies that support this conclusion included smokers for whom it was already known that beta-carotene supplements can be harmful. While other findings suggest that vitamin E toxicity is limited to only a specific form when taken in excess. The European Union and other countries of Europe have regulations that define limits of vitamin dosages for their safe use as food supplements. Most vitamins that are sold as food supplements cannot exceed a maximum daily dosage. Vitamin products above these legal limits are not considered food supplements and must be registered as prescription or non-prescription due to their potential side effects. As a result, most of the fat-soluble vitamins that contain amounts above the daily allowance are drug products. The daily dosage of a vitamin supplement for example cannot exceed 300% of the recommended daily allowance, and for vitamin A, this limit is even lower. Such regulations are applicable in most European countries. Dietary supplements often contain vitamins, but may also include other ingredients, such as minerals, herbs, and botanicals. Scientific evidence supports the benefits of dietary supplements for persons with certain health conditions. In some cases, vitamin supplements may have unwanted effects, especially if taken before surgery, with other dietary supplements or medicines, or if the person taking them has certain health conditions. They may also contain levels of vitamins many times higher, and in different forms, than one may ingest through food. Effect of cooking Shown below is percentage loss of vitamins after cooking averaged for common foods such as vegetables, meat or fish. It should be noted however that some vitamins may become more bioavailable a euro that is, usable by the body a euro, when steamed or cooked. The table below shows whether various vitamins are susceptible to loss from heat a euro such as heat from boiling, steaming, cooking etc. a euro, and other agents. The effect of cutting vegetables can be seen from exposure to air and light. Water-soluble vitamins such as B and C seep into the water when a vegetable is boiled. Deficiencies Humans must consume vitamins periodically but with differing schedules, to avoid deficiency. The human body's stores for different vitamins vary widely. Vitamins A, D, and B12 are stored in significant amounts in the human body, mainly in the liver and an adult human's diet may be deficient in vitamins A and E for many months and B12 in some cases for years, before developing a deficiency condition. However, vitamin B3 is not stored in the human body in significant amounts, so stores may last only a couple of weeks. For vitamin C, the first symptoms of scurvy in experimental studies of complete vitamin C deprivation in humans have varied widely, from a month to more than six months, depending on previous dietary history that determined body stores. Deficiencies of vitamins are classified as either primary or secondary. A primary deficiency occurs when an organism does not get enough of the vitamin in its food. A secondary deficiency may be due to an underlying disorder that prevents or limits the absorption or use of the vitamin, due to a lifestyle factor, such as smoking, excessive alcohol consumption or the use of medications that interfere with the absorption or use of the vitamin. People who eat a varied diet are unlikely to develop a severe primary vitamin deficiency. In contrast, restrictive diets have the potential to cause prolonged vitamin deficits, which may result in often painful and potentially deadly diseases. Well-known human vitamin deficiencies involve thiamine, nicine, vitamin C, and vitamin D. In much of the developed world, such deficiencies are rare. This is due to an adequate supply of food and the addition of vitamins and minerals to common foods, often called fortification. In addition to these classical vitamin deficiency diseases, some evidence has also suggested links between vitamin deficiency and a number of different disorders. Side effects, in large doses, some vitamins have documented side effects that tend to be more severe with a larger dosage. The likelihood of consuming too much of any vitamin from food is remote, but overdosing from vitamin supplementation does occur. At high enough dosages, some vitamins cause side effects such as nausea, diarrhea, and vomiting. When side effects emerge, recovery is often accomplished by reducing the dosage. 
the doses of vitamins differ because individual tolerances can vary widely and appear to be related to age and state of health. In 2008, overdose exposure to all formulations of vitamins and multivitamin mineral formulations was reported by 68,911 individuals to the American Association of Poison Control Centers, leading to eight major life-threatening outcomes, but no deaths. Pharmacology Vitamins are classified as either water-soluble or fat-soluble. In humans there are 13 vitamins, 4 fat-soluble and 9 water-soluble. Water-soluble vitamins dissolve easily in water and, in general, are readily excreted from the body, to the degree that urinary outputs is a strong predictor of vitamin consumption. Because they are not as readily stored, more consistent intake is important. Many types of water-soluble vitamins are synthesized by bacteria. Fat-soluble vitamins are absorbed through the intestinal tract with the help of lipids. Because they are more likely to accumulate in the body, they are more likely to lead to hypervitaminosis than are water-soluble vitamins. Fat-soluble vitamin regulation is of particular significance in cystic fibrosis. History the value of eating a certain food to maintain health was recognized long before vitamins were identified. The ancient Egyptians knew that feeding liver to a person would help cure night blindness, an illness now known to be caused by a vitamin A deficiency. The advancement of ocean voyages during the Renaissance resulted in prolonged periods without access to fresh fruits and vegetables, and made illnesses from vitamin deficiency common among ships' crews. In 1747, the Scottish surgeon James Lynn discovered that citrus foods helped prevent scurvy, a particularly deadly disease in which collagen is not properly formed, causing poor wound healing, bleeding of the gums, severe pain, and death. In 1753, Lynn published his treatise on the scurvy, which recommended using lemons and limes to avoid scurvy, which was adopted by the British Royal Navy. This led to the nickname Limey for sailors of that organization. Lynn's discovery, however, was not widely accepted by individuals in the Royal Navy's Arctic expeditions in the 19th century, where it was widely believed that scurvy could be prevented by practicing good hygiene, regular exercise, and maintaining the morale of the crew while on board, rather than by a diet of fresh food. As a result, Arctic expeditions continued to be plagued by scurvy and other deficiency diseases. In the early 20th century, when Robert Falcon Scott made his two expeditions to the Antarctic, the prevailing medical theory at the time was that scurvy was caused by tainted canned food. During the late 18th and early 19th centuries, the use of deprivation studies allowed scientists to isolate and identify a number of vitamins. Lipid from fish oil was used to cure rickets in rats, and the fat-soluble nutrient was called ontarachitic A. Thus, the first vitamin bioactivity ever isolated, which cured rickets, was initially called vitamin A. However, the bioactivity of this compound is now called vitamin D. In 1881, Russian surgeon Nikola Lunin studied the effects of scurvy while at the University of Tartu in present-day Estonia. He fed mice an artificial mixture of all the separate constituents of milk known at that time, namely the proteins, fats, carbohydrates, and salts. The mice that received only the individual constituents died, while the mice fed by milk itself developed normally. He made a conclusion that a natural food such as milk must therefore contain, besides these known principal ingredients, small quantities of unknown substances essential to life. However, his conclusions were rejected by other researchers when they were unable to reproduce his results. One difference was that he had used table sugar while other researchers had used milk sugar that still contained small amounts of vitamin B. In East Asia, where polished white rice was the common staple food of the middle class, beriberi resulting from lack of vitamin B1 was endemic. In 1884, Takaki Kenhiro, a British-trained medical doctor of the Imperial Japanese Navy, observed that beriberi was endemic among low-ranking crew who often ate nothing but rice but not among officers who consumed a Western-style diet. With the support of the Japanese Navy, he experimented using crews of two battleships. One crew was fed only white rice, while the other was fed a diet of meat, fish, barley, rice, and beans. 
the group that ate only white rice documented 161 crew members with beriberi and 25 deaths, while the latter group had only 14 cases of beriberi and no deaths. This convinced Takaki and the Japanese Navy that diet was the cause of beriberi, but mistakenly believed that sufficient amounts of protein prevented it. That diseases could result from some dietary deficiencies was further investigated by Christian E. Eichmann, who in 1897 discovered that feeding unpolished rice instead of the polished variety to chickens helped to prevent beriberi in the chickens. The following year, Frederick Hopkins postulated that some foods contained accessory factors AA euro in addition to proteins, carbohydrates, fats etc. AA euro that are necessary for the functions of the human body. Hopkins and E. Eichmann were awarded the Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine in 1929 for their discovery of several vitamins. In 1910, the first vitamin complex was isolated by Japanese scientist Umtaro Suzuki, who succeeded in extracting a water-soluble complex of micronutrients from rice bran and named it aberic acid. He published this discovery in a Japanese scientific journal. When the article was translated into German, the translation failed to state that it was a newly discovered nutrient, a claim made in the original Japanese article, and hence his discovery failed to gain publicity. In 1912 Polish biochemist Casimir Funk isolated the same complex of micronutrients and proposed the complex be named vitamin. The name soon became synonymous with Hopkins accessory factors, and, by the time it was shown that not all vitamins are amines, the word was already ubiquitous. In 1920, Jack Cecil Drummond proposed that the final E be dropped to de-emphasize the M reference, after researchers began to suspect that not all vitamins have an M component. In 1930, Paul Carrer elucidated the correct structure for beta-carotene, the main precursor of vitamin A, and identified other carotenoids. Kara and Norman Hamworth confirmed Albert Sentgiar paragraph RGYI's discovery of ascorbic acid and made significant contributions to the chemistry of flavins, which led to the identification of lactoflavin. For their investigations on carotenoids, flavins and vitamins A and B2, they both received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1937. In 1931, Albert Sentgiar paragraph RGYI and a fellow researcher Joseph Sverbly suspected that hexuronic acid was actually vitamin C, and gave a sample to Charles Glenn King, who proved its anti-scorbutic activity in his long-established guinea pig scorbutic assay. In 1937, Sentgiar paragraph RGYI was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for his discovery. In 1943, Edward Adelbert Dozy and Henrik Dam were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for their discovery of vitamin K and its chemical structure. In 1967, George Ward was awarded the Nobel Prize for his discovery that vitamin A could participate directly in a physiological process. Etymology, the term vitamin was derived from vitamin, a compound word coined in 1912 by the Polish biochemist Kazimierz Tzfunk when working at the Lister Institute of Preventive Medicine. The name is from vital and um, meaning um of life, because it was suggested in 1912 that the organic micronutrient food factors that prevent beriberi and perhaps other similar dietary deficiency diseases might be chemical amines. This proved incorrect for the micronutrient class, and the word was shortened to vitamin. Society and culture, governmental regulation, most countries place dietary supplements in a special category under the general umbrella of foods, not drugs. This necessitates that the manufacturer, and not the government, be responsible for ensuring that its dietary supplement products are safe before they are marketed. Regulation of supplements varies widely by country. In the United States, a dietary supplement is defined under the Dietary Supplement Health and Education Act of 1994. In addition, the Food and Drug Administration uses the Adverse Event Reporting System to monitor adverse events that occur with supplements. In 2007, the U.S. Code of Federal Regulations Title 21, Part 3 took effect, regulating GMP practices in the manufacturing, packaging, labeling, or holding operations for dietary supplements. Even though product registration is not required, these regulations mandate production and quality control standards for dietary supplements. 
In the European Union, the Food Supplements Directive requires that only those supplements that have been proven safe can be sold without a prescription. For most vitamins, pharmacopoeial standards have been established. In the United States, the United States Pharmacopoeia sets standards for the most commonly used vitamins and preparations thereof. Likewise, monographs of the European Pharmacopoeia regulate aspects of identity and purity for vitamins on the European market. Naming, the reason that the set of vitamins skips directly from E to K is that the vitamins corresponding to letters FJ were either reclassified over time, discarded as false leads, or renamed because of their relationship to vitamin B, which became a complex of vitamins. The German-speaking scientists who isolated and described vitamin K did so because the vitamin is intimately involved in the coagulation of blood following wounding. At the time, most of the letters from F through to J were already designated, so the use of the letter K was considered quite reasonable. The table on the right lists chemicals that had previously been classified as vitamins, as well as the earlier names of vitamins that later became part of the B complex. Antivitamins Antivitamins are chemical compounds that inhibit the absorption or actions of vitamins. For example, a vitamin is a protein in egg whites that inhibits the absorption of biotin. Peritamin is similar to thiamine, vitamin B1, and inhibits the enzymes that use thiamine. References External links USDA RDA chart in PDF format, Health Canada Dietary Reference Intakes Reference Chart for Vitamins NIH Office of Dietary Supplements, Fact Sheets, NIH Office of Dietary Supplements. Dietary Supplements, Background Information, Interactive Table based on United States Department of Agriculture Database, Vitapredia Web Server for Predicting Vitamin Interacting Residues in Vitamin Binding Protein.